so much for meeting with me today. Girl Tech Boss's mission is to inspire and empower girls to pursue STEM and entrepreneurship, and we're so glad that you could be a part of it. Just to kick things off, do you mind introducing yourself and a little bit about your background? Uh, sure, thank you. Um, my name is Bonnie lieberman Chukowski. Um I am the owner of Robot Revolution, LLC. Uh, we have locations in Summit and soon to be Edison. Um, I have a background in journalism and political science mm -hmm. uh, from Rutgers University. That's awesome. So you had mentioned a little bit about there about Robot Revolution. So what inspired you to pursue creating a business and especially related to a STEM field? Um, okay, so that's a really good question, especially with my background being, um, you know, journalism and I started out as a writer. I actually, um, I've always liked tech. So when I first started out, I was taking writing jobs and marketing jobs and I somewhere after the first couple of jobs, I went back to school. I went to um, NYU and I was working in the city at the time and I did, um, it was just kind of before the heyday of the internet. So I took all these tech classes so that I could do a small amount of programming, a small amount of graphic design, and I landed this great job for an internet company. It was like the fifth largest internet company. Um, so it was really exciting. And that was, at the time, what I was trying to be, um, the direction I was trying to go in. Um, I grew up sort of with a family that was always entrepreneurial. Uh, my father had his own business. My father was sort of, um, he was an engineering type. He was also a lawyer, but he would like to um, be an inventor and invent things. Mm -hmm. And he had, you know, he had some businesses. So I sort of always grew up seeing that and, and thought, you know, it'd be great. So I've actually had several businesses over the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, and I, um, when I met my husband, he was very much into technology and, mm -hmm. and he was a programmer. And so along the way during the time that we've spent together uh we've been um you know he's we've always been in tech jobs but um way back when when the kids were younger and they were just starting to do robotics in the schools um they had to be parent-led teams so that's what we did we started to have a parent-led team in our house with a bunch of kids and we would go to competitions and then um, we would go to the schools to kind of do community outreach, like how to um, start your own team, how to have your own robotics team, mm -hmm. just like we did. And there were so many people would come to these events, it'd be hundreds of people, and they would be like, you know, we can't do our own team. We really need someone to do this. And we thought, oh, you know what? That's a great niche um, to maybe start a school where the kids could all come and learn robotics. So if you could give one piece of advice to an aspiring female tech entrepreneur, what would it be? You know, when I, when I first started working um, for a big internet company and that job was, um, it was sort of my dream job at the time because, you know, the internet was really exciting and, and people were like running to the city to work for different startups and I, um, and like I had said previously, I had gone back to school at night to learn, you know, take some more tech classes. And I think that the the biggest piece of advice is just don't be afraid of learning new skills. You know, like that's sort of an ongoing thing. Like even in any job, like your job may change or the business changes. And, you know, don't be afraid of trying something new. Just like a final question, uh, just to end things off. What is the funniest thing you've ever experienced or seen in your job? Okay, so uh, we have a lot of fun there. Um, the instructors, they're always building things and, you know, making cool things just because it's cool or just to laugh at, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, in Summit, we're in downtown Summit where all the stores are and the retail businesses. And I noticed that all of the businesses put out like dog bowls you know, with water and little biscuits for the dogs. And I was like, oh, you know, we should do something like that. And, you know, I don't know if you've ever walked outside of our facility, but we have Robbie the robot outside. Um, 
and you can actually follow him online. So he's out there with the signage, and I was going to put out the dog bowls, and I said to one of the instructors, you know, it would be really fun if we had a robot dog out there near the dog bowls. And um, so like a day or so later, the Gus, one of the instructors, he created um, a doggy robot, and it's hysterical. Like its ears move, and its tongue moves, mm-hmm. and its eyes move, and That's awesome. um, it kind of moves up and down. So then... We made a joke and we said, well, how come the robot dog doesn't have a dog bowl? So he made a dog bowl with little tiny blue pins and there are parts in it that are moving it up and down that looks like it's moving water. Mm-hmm. And wow. it's really, really funny. So I, I crack up every time I see it. Thank you for watching this interview video. Special thanks to Mrs. Tchaikovsky for sharing your journey and advice. Please make sure to check out Robot Revolution for more information about starting VEX or VEX IQ Robotics classes.